Hi, it's Rebecca Williams, Co Director of COP26 here at GWEC, and I'm coming to you from the second day of COP here in Glasgow. And the theme of the day today has really been sustainability in the renewable sector. So today we kicked off our conference programme with a focus specifically on the topic of how the renewable sector uh, can tackle the sustainability challenges that, that we see in front of us. Uh, we started the day actually with the signing of a memorandum of understanding between the Global Solar Council and GWEC, so the global solar industry and the global wind industry together about how we can not only be sustainable but how we can upscale quickly in order to meet net zero. And here's Gianni Cianetta to tell you more. Today was a very important day. Uh, we launched the alliance uh, and the cooperation uh, with GWEC and Global Solar Council. We signed an MOU. Uh, we are working together from some times now, but uh, to launch formally this alliance today at COP26 um, is very important um, because uh, this COP26 is a really uh, a very important milestone in the acceleration of the sustainable transition after uh, the Paris Agreement, after, after COP21, uh, this COP is, uh, um, is really a new restart uh, with a very much more ambitious target. So this um, alliance uh, this, um, is very important because we will join force, uh, forces in order to really uh, cooperate on uh, uh, data, uh, elaboration of data, in um, uh, policy recommendations and um, in, uh, in uh, many other aspects that uh, will uh, really um, accelerate this transition. Our first session of the fortnight had a focus on sustainability and it involved uh, industry leaders coming together to discuss how the industry can grow in a sustainable manner. Ben Hunt from Siemens Gamesa was one of the speakers. So it was great. I mean, we had a, a very interesting session on sustainability in the renewables industry. Um, what was, uh, I think, fascinating was the sense that the industry is kind of going through a growing up phase at the moment, a little bit, a sort of maturing, whereas previously renewables, wind, solar, we're all about the product, uh, all about the, the levelized cost of electricity and, and kind of driving that cost down to be competitive. Um, you know, now we are also being uh, assessed on a completely different set of criteria, sustainability criteria. Um, and you know the, the and, you know rising to the challenge. So it was interesting to hear uh, different perspectives, those from our customers, from our suppliers, and, and from us in the uh, OEM segment. No, so I think there was a you know really great start here in the in the wind pavilion, the first session today on sustainability, and it'll be followed up by two weeks of what should be really invigorating debate. And I'm looking forward later in the week to hearing uh, a lot more about the financing of the industry. Uh, we have Energy Day on Thursday, where there'll be a lot of, uh, quite a lot of interesting uh, discussion and, and an offshore um, towards the end of the week, including um, floating wind and then you know, more sessions next week. So there, you know, there's a lot to come uh, from, uh, from, from the wind pavilion at, at the COP. So as Ben said, we've got sessions running throughout the fortnight and the focus of the day tomorrow is all about financing. And we'll kick that off with a session on coal phase out. See you there.